Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Wine today, uh, Piccini. Picci. Uh, Chianti Classico Reserva 2009. Give it a whirl. Cherries, um, a little bit of um, school desk varnish. I don't know where that came from. I don't know whether that, that means there's a little bit of volatility in there. But there's a herbiness as well. Um, also, there's something um, on the... Let's have a look. Another sniff. Slightly... Oh, I don't know. There's a, a, a greenness. And I don't know whether that's from um, something that's in the fruit or something that maybe um, the oak barrel that the wine's been in uh, wasn't seasoned as well as it could be. It smells like there's... And I'll, I'll shut up and, and taste it. I find this puzzling because uh, there's, there's there's some juicy, lovely, voluptuous uh, cherry and there's the, there's, there's the fresh cherry and there's a slightly sour, dried cherry character. Uh, there's an element of um, that, that thing I was talking about, the varnish, that little bit of volatility that is just lifting the flavours rather than swamping them with vinegar. Um, a bit of tea, a bit of herbs in there, but then there is this slight angular bit, uh, which is, it feels like there's a green uh, barrier, which may or may not come down with time. It feels like the more I swirl it, uh, it may be that those richer flavours, the, the, the fruit flavours are coming up more and more and, and are, are, are rising above that barrier, but um, I've got a feeling that that, uh, that edge will remain in the background. Um, is it too much for the fruit? Mmm... I do quite like it, um, and um, I will. I'll keep. I, I'm, I'm really in two minds about it, so uh, not sure at the moment. Uh, I will keep tasting it, and I will report back and let you know what I think. See you soon.